Is now the time to buy an EV? If you're one of those people asking that question right now, like many others, then this is the video for you. We're gonna be talking about how EVs have been going up in value for years and then recently falling very rapidly, very recently. And if now is that time to buy a EV, that might be a new EV, that might be a used EV. We are gonna be unwinding both those scenarios. Now, you might be wondering why you should trust this YouTuber. Well, this YouTuber has been in the car trade all his adult life, and his family business, selling used cars, has been in the business for over 45 years. So. I know a thing or two about car values. Now, car values have been rocketing up ever since we had a global pandemic, which we won't say the name of. It was two years out of everyone's life. We don't want to keep being reminded of it all the time. It's bad enough as it is. But that worldwide lockdown caused used cars and new cars to increase in value. And the reason for it is because of a couple of things. Because of these lockdowns, people were buying more technology to keep themselves entertained. That might be TVs, games consoles, and this meant a shortage of chips. The shortage of chips meant that new cars weren't being produced, it meant that people who would buy a new car had to buy a nearly new car. Those used vehicles were now selling more than a new car because you couldn't get a new car, so you were paying more for the used car. That pushed all values up of used cars because everyone had to move up a level and this really inflated prices. Then a war happened in Ukraine where they make a lot of car parts and this made the problem even worse. Then new car manufacturers saw the values of used cars selling for more than their new cars and went, we're missing out on some money here. So they put their prices up or removed all bonus and benefit schemes from those new vehicles to compensate for that. Now we used EVs and EVs in general were made even worse by this because when manufacturers can sell EVs easier, uh, it lowers their residual target for CAF fine, so they remove a lot of support and discount off EVs that weren't once there to make sure they don't pay these fines, which meant that EV values were having discounts taken off them, which meant that prices of EVs were going up more, and people weren't driving as much ever since the lockdown because they were working from home more often. Oh my God, I'm running out of breath. And that meant that used values of EVs were going up because people weren't needing the range anxiety issue anymore because they weren't doing as many miles. Top that with the fact that the government offer a benefit kind for work vehicles that are EVs just meant that demand for EVs was higher than ever, pushing up the values through the roof. Now recently, Tesla have dropped the price of the Model Y and Model 3 on new cars. Now, there is a video I've done top right, so go and check that out, which is specifically about that. However, we won't be going into that. What we will be talking about is how other manufacturers have responded to Tesla's price reduction. They haven't, uh, they've done nothing. There's no price reduction of any other manufacturers to be in line with Tesla. Now, to be fair, a lot of manufacturers are quite snobby about themselves and consider themselves to be higher class than Tesla or better than Tesla in many ways. Now, in some respects, they are right. They build better cars. The vast majority of car manufacturers do build better cars than Tesla. Don't shoot me, Tesla fanboys. I've got enough Tesla merch to prove that I am just as big as a fanboy as you. However, these reductions from manufacturers will likely appear, and I'll tell you why they haven't appeared yet. First of all, at the moment, start of the year, manufacturers really don't care about the start of the year. It's the end of the year they care about, where they look at the balance sheet of how many ICE cars they've sold to how many EVs they sold, and this matters because of CAF targets. CAF targets are a fine you pay to the government if your CO2 level is below a certain percentage. EVs are heavy, EVs are zero CO2, basically minus the total percentage that they can go over that target by, meaning the more EVs they sell, the less chance they have of paying a fine. So about mid-year, most manufacturers go, oh, we're quite high percentage of non-EVs here. We need to put some discounts in and start discounting them. So about mid-year, you'll see most manufacturers respond to it if they need to. I'm not saying they will, they might not need to, but if they do, it's about mid-year. However, some manufacturers wait as late as December. Hi, Renault. Now, Tesla's price drop did affect Tesla use values overnight. And a lot of people actually think that this affected other EVs prices overnight. And yes, the value reduction of Tesla did affect Tesla use values and it did affect other EVs. 
but they were already dropped. Before Tesla's price drop came out, used EVs and Teslas were dropping. Tesla just made the problem a little bit worse, a little bit faster. Now, the energy crisis has meant people who were thinking about buying an electric car have delayed it for a couple of reasons. Now, many reasons is they were seeing that they were paying 35p a kilowatt for their energy at home, and it just meant that the maths and the savings were still there, but they weren't that great push to make them do it immediately. A lot of people were changing to EVs before they'd normally change the car. They were just switching because of the saving benefits. So that dried up a little bit of the demand. Now, most people don't who don't have an EV yet don't know that you can get energy for as little as 10p a kilowatt. Now, if you're looking at signing up for one of these deals, check out my link at, down below. There's a link there to Octopus Energy. You can split £100 with me as a referral bonus for both of us. So that is absolutely fantastic of them. Now, moving on slightly from that is also the fact that the energy crisis was just one of the issues. That We also had the fact that the energy crisis was causing public charging costs to go up and Add on to this that the fact that Tesla two-year, three-year leases were ending, other EV leases were ending, it meant that we had a huge amount of supply of used EVs in a market when for the first time this growing market with surging demand had a slump in demand. Now we have actually seen this before. We've seen huge supply and lack of demand and that is because in 2015-16 the Renault Zoe's were coming off their first lease and they were super cheap when they were sold and there was loads of them being sold because Renault wanted a flagship that Zoe as much as they could sell as many as they could but when they came off the end of the lease there was no market for a huge 22 kilowatt hour charger with very little public charging at the time and a car that only did 60 to 100 miles with no backup support of a network. And because of this, the prices were cheap as chips. In fact, so cheap that retail, we, me and my wife picked up a one-year-old Zoe, 22 kilowatt hour, top spec model, in a nice color for uh, 6,000 miles for I think five grand retail. We then sold this car when demand was increased in 2021. So several years later, with 30,000 miles more, for how much people, that's right, we sold that car for eight grand. So we made a profit on keeping a car, and I'm talking retail prices, obviously at the time I bought the car trade, I bought it less than five grand. So five grand to eight grand because the demand increased. And I do think, personally, we're probably going to see this happen again. So if you're asking me right now, should you buy a used EV? Well, I'm an EV advocate, so my answer is always going to be yes. If you need a car right now and you can't decide if it's an EV or not, then the answer is obviously yes. If you're not looking at buying a car right now, but you are thinking of it being your next car, then my answer is if it's a new EV, then my answer is very clearly wait till there's a deal. If you don't need a car right now, you're not looking to change, wait for a new deal to come around. I reckon most manufacturers will have to knock between three and maybe five grand by the mid-year, end of the year to hit their cafe targets because of the Tesla price reduction. I just personally can't see why you'd pay 43, 43 and a half grand for a top spec Renault Megane electric when you can buy a Tesla standard range model with you know, fake vegan leather for a little bit less with the supercharging network. Uh, just, you know, comment down below if you think I'm wrong. However, where I see the best time to buy and what the best thing to buy is right now is used. That is where I think you should be buying. If you're happy to have a used electric car, this is about the best the price is ever gonna get. I actually think they've overcorrected, they've overfallen. Now, I do think the prices have fallen in Teslas and many other EVs as a correction. The prices were ridiculously too high at the time, pre-COVID, that they needed a correction. EVs, used Teslas just weren't falling at a normal rate. I mean, they were making silly, silly money. I mean, really silly money. I, you know, I, I get it, they were in demand, but you know, Teslas are two to a penny these days. You know, why would you buy a used Tesla for the same price you could buy a new one? That you know, Teslas were coming out of, out of the you know dock like no tomorrow. There was no shortage of demand. There was no shortage of supply with Tesla. They were just there. So, 
that needed a correction. However, I do think they've overcorrected. I do think that used EVs will go up probably between 10 and 15 to maybe even 20% more over the next sort of six to seven months. Now that's not saying that you're gonna happen, same thing happened to me in 2016 and you know make four grand on a five grand EV. No, that won't happen, that, that was just silly. But you might find that the car you bought hasn't dropped in value at all, or if you buy it in seven months now, rather than now, you'd pay the same price or a little bit more which means effectively it's not really lost any money so if you are looking for a used ev now in my personal opinion is the best time to buy however this is not financial advice i could be completely wrong they could fall even further but it's very unlikely demand demand for evs is going to just increase as we get towards 2030 so bear that in mind and also the fact that you know energy prices are starting to fall wholesale is down if you want to know more about the price reduction on tesla then check out this video i've done on it here